As was promised in this video, we are going to install the vision language model from Baidu in this new series of Ernie 4.5. Just few hours ago, I showed you the large language model, the text generation model from Baidu Ernie 4.5. And we also looked into great detail of who Baidu is, what is the architecture of this model and what is different from the previous version which came around one year ago so baidu has really done a wonderful job here in terms of this new model series and i am expecting that this vision model should be as good as the text model this vision model is quite powerful in terms of vision it's a multimodal one it can deal with video and images both this model has been designed to understand and generate both text and images. It uses a mixture of expert architecture with 28 billion total parameters, but only 3 billion are activated per token, making it highly efficient for inference. The model is jointly trained on visual and textual data using a new heterogeneous mixture of expert structure that allows for both shared and modality specific experts. It has used some really cool new techniques like modality isolated routing, token balanced loss and a router orthogonal loss which help prevent interference between modalities and ensures strong cross modal reasoning and generation capabilities. I will be talking a bit more about the architecture and training of this model but for now let's try to get it installed and as I said if you want to learn more about the models or from Baidu you can find it on Hugging Face and I have already covered it in this video and this is the Baidu if you don't know that is primarily China's Google okay now let's go to my terminal with, with I'm running Ubuntu and my GPU card is Nvidia H100 with 80 GB of VRAM let me start by creating all of these prerequisites which primarily include the latest version of transformer and then i will launch my jupyter notebook and while it installs all these prerequisites let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation also, if you're looking to rent a GPU or CPU or VM on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mass Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So our notebook is launched. Let's download this vision model with a tokenizer. And the model is now being downloaded. As you can see, there are 12 shards of it. While it downloads the model, um, let's talk a bit more about this model's architecture and training because that is quite interesting too. So what they have done, they have uh, to enhance the performance. This Ernie 4.5 VL undergoes modality specific post training, including supervised fine tuning, direct preference optimization, and even a reinforcement learning technique called as RLVR or reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards. It seems every model is now using this uh, where model is incentivized in order to perform better. So this enables the model to perform well on tasks like image understanding, multimodal chain of thought reasoning, and complex instruction following. The context length is quite good around 132K and it has got fine-grained MUI architecture with 28 layers, 20 Q heads, 4 KV heads, and it balances depth with efficiency, making it really capable vision model as per the benchmarks which they have shared. So I'm quite curious to see how exactly those benchmarks perform. By the way, it not only comes in this 28 billion um, size, but also in 424 billion parameter size. And this model is, of course, a supervised fine tune, but there is also a base model which you can fine-tune quite easily and I also might make another video on the fine-tuning. So the model is now downloaded and it is now loading on to our GPU. Shouldn't take too long from here. 
okay so now let's do the inference for the inference i'm just going to first take this local image of a bear and i will show you the image too and i'm just asking it what is in the image we are then tokenizing the input model is generating the output with the hyperparameters and then we are decoding it back and printing the response and this is the image which i'm testing with it and it is taking long time to come back with an answer i think it is just checking the response let's see how it goes let me also show you the vram consumption there you go so over 57 gig of vram for this image one okay let's see how it goes and here is a problem with this model the model has returned me the response after 20 minutes that's right so just these two paragraphs which are quite good i will read it shortly but you can see that this is not really a model which is for general purpose vision tasks i believe that if you have some complex images or maybe some domain specific images this model is suited for that it is not for general purpose vision otherwise it is going to take long long time which is not acceptable for many general purpose <clears throat> application so but if you look at the response it has really captured the essence of the image not only it has focused on the main object of the image but also the surroundings and it has talked about all the tones and tenors and shadows and lighting um, also the environment and you see for example it says that the setting is rich with natural detail behind the beer is a vibrant patch of green vegetation small shrubs and forested or alpine region and warmer season so not only surrounding but also it is guessing about the season so i think it is the response is very high quality no doubt about that but the time it is taking to return us the response i think that really doesn't justify the answer anyway so if you're looking for an ocr or that sort of stuff i don't think so this is the model for you because we don't want any high latency models there now if your ocr is very very complex then yes it makes sense anyway uh, i'm just going to do a quick ocr on one of the image with multi languages and then um, i will check it with a complex image so let's first uh, first let me do the ocr so for the ocr i am giving it this image which is a paragraph and contains many languages from across the world and i am asking it to extract the text and identify the languages and there you go after 20 minutes of wait it has returned me this response the response is again spot on there is no mistake as far as i can see it has not only extracted the text to the hill but also has identified all the languages there even it has uh, done the spanish and catalan there and i believe the russian hindi and few other languages arabic stuff everything looks pretty good to me so look i would say the response is really spot on but the time it takes is really not acceptable for these general purpose tasks so again if you have some domain specific complex task that would make sense otherwise i think for general purpose this model might not be the suitable one but that is just my two cent we run this and wait for 20 minutes and there you go this time it has taken 30 minutes but the response is totally correct uh, i have checked all the equations and it has correctly identified the various root systems and then all the parameters and then dinkin index or structure so really really high quality response i would say and finally i'm going to ask it a question about this medical image which is from histopathology and the question is what tissue or organ is shown in this microscopic image and what features help identify it now before i run it i think this is where this model could shine with a lot of domain specific questions but i would highly recommend that if you are doing that also fine tune it on your own images and again don't take any medical advice or legal advice or any critical advice from any model okay so let me run this and there you go the model has given pretty good answer i have checked it with few other models and look good to me but if you are related to that field please also confirm because i have no clue what exactly is meant by this 
liver cohen at the base and all that stuff but looks pretty good to me anyway uh, as i said pretty good model high quality model and but i think the use case is not general purpose it is more uh, of the domain specific and for that i would highly suggest that you take the base model fine tune it on your own images and then use it that's it please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps thank you for watching